what is up, world? Uh, man, it's been a while since I've done a vlog style video, but today is a super special day because I am in Canada for the very first time. I've never been to Canada before, and I woke up at three o'clock this morning, drove four and a half hours, and I'm in Toronto right now. Just to give you a little bit of an update, after uh, the documentary that I made on Mexican Rodeo has been kind of doing pretty well, uh, it's really exciting, I've decided to make another documentary, and this one is gonna be about Great Lakes surfing. Since we moved up to Michigan, I've started surfing the Great Lakes, it's super fun, it's kind of something that not a lot of people know about, not a lot of people do, and uh, I thought it's a really interesting subculture to tell the story of. So today I am on my way to a surf shop in Toronto called Surf the Greats, and it's near Lake Ontario. Uh, I'm going to be interviewing, uh, sitting down for a long format interview with the manager of the shop. Her name's Maddie. She is an avid lake surfer paddleboarder and uh, she paddleboards for the Canadian national team so super cool uh, I'm gonna go interview her and then after that um, hopefully gonna go on a session at a different part in Canada on Lake Erie be able to catch some waves out there and film someone else surfing catching some waves so kind of initial stages of this documentary I've been interviewing some people surfing with some people getting some surfing footage and the goal is just to tell the story of Great Lakes surfers and, and what they're all about, which is taking me to Canada. <laughs> talk a little bit about like the difference between the ocean kind of having that taste of team canada and competing internationally and like wearing the the maple leaf on on my back made me feel so empowered so strong so confident and i i've honestly just been chasing that feeling ever since that's just wrapped up an awesome interview um, with uh with Maddie LeBlanc, and uh, yeah, so she's, she's the manager at that store. Um, got to hear her story about how she got into paddleboarding and then also, you know, Great Lakes surfing, and uh, yeah, it was really cool. Um, it was a good, like, long format interview, and I think it's gonna be some awesome, awesome content for, for the documentary. So, um, yeah, so now I am headed out of Toronto. I'm headed to Lake Erie, sort of north side of Lake Erie, not not too far from here, to a surf spot where uh, there's supposed to be uh, quite a bit of local surfers that will be out there today. And so, um, and hopefully, you know, go get a surf session in, meet some people. I don't know uh, how much time I'm gonna have today, but the, the place where I'm going is only like 20 minutes from Niagara Falls, and I've never been, <laughs> so. Uh, I might check out Niagara Falls. Okay, so uh, I was on my way to the surf spot and I passed by the exit for Niagara Falls. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna regret it <laughs> if I don't just stop and see Niagara Falls. So uh, yeah, I'm pulling up to Niagara Falls right now. Niagara Falls. My first time seeing this in real life. It's beautiful.
absolutely stunning. I mean, I, I know people have said that the Canadian side is better. I think they're right. Oh, yeah. Niagara Falls did not disappoint. I'm uh, pulling out of this weird little area I found in the park. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and head to our surf spot. Keep on working on the documentary. Here we go. people out here? Is this kind of like your little secret um, spot? It's not that secret of a spot. Okay. It's kind of small right now, but yeah. probably after work it'll be bigger. toss up between being able to surf or getting home at a decent-ish time so that I can get a good night of sleep. Um, I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning so I, I only literally only got like two and a half hours of sleep last night so I think a good night's sleep is gonna be needed. Um, I also want to see my kids before they go to bed but uh, yeah first time in Canada first time in Canada for the documentary as well and so yeah I learned a lot about the area um, this spot that, the, that all these people congregate and surf at is super cool and I definitely want to come back here again and it's not that far you know if you leave in the morning you could surf all day and be home by dark so uh, yeah definitely plan on coming out here again whether it's just getting more footage for the documentary or just surfing myself out here because I mean you know, this spot is incredible it's like this point break that just yeah it's awesome um, so this will not be the last of my Canada trips um, I'll be doing some more work with with Maddie uh, and documenting her career as a um, paddleboarder and also doing some more uh, some more work at that spot with uh, yeah, just different surfers that meet there. I think that's a really cool spot. It'd be a really good opportunity to uh, make some more headway with the documentary. So, yeah, um, all in all, man, in and out of Canada in one day, 
interview, Toronto, Niagara Falls, sweet, sick surf spot, and back home. I've done a lot in a day. I feel good. I feel good about it. I feel good about the progress that I made. And uh, yeah, hopefully this video was somewhat interesting to you guys. Uh, I guess it was kind of a filmmaking vlog style video. And hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments. Uh, also, if you didn't enjoy it, let me know that as well. And I'll never do it again. Just kidding. Uh, no, for real. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.